Do you have a crazy leash pulling monster at home that you can't take anywhere? Well, up next, I'm going to show you two different philosophies of training to teach that dog how to walk by your side. So in this first drill, I have Augie set up on the more purely positive side of dog training. And I have just a slip lead on him that I'm going to pull up a little higher on his neck. And we're going to take off walking here. And more than likely, he's going to be walking at the end of leash. And I'm going to show you how to do that drill. So here we go. So he starts walking at the end of the leash. What I'm going to do is come to a stop. No. Yes. And then pay when he comes back. What you want to do is you guys want to repeat this drill forwards and backwards over and over again until you start to condition a behavior for the dog. So we're going to start walking again. We're going to start going forwards. He's walking out. Oh, he realized the game because he's had a little bit of training. But if he was to get too excited, no. Yes. And we start going back and we're going to go back again, guys. Keep going forwards. We're going forwards. He starts to pull up the leash. I stop. No. Yes. We start walking again. No. Yes. And one more tip with this drill. It's incredibly important to actually start to shape a command of like heel and teach the dog that you're going to drag out this heel, heel, and work that. If you pair the heel and the end of leash corrections, this is the positive way to do it. And now I'm going to show you the balance method way. All right, guys, I'm out here with Augie, and we have him fitted with a Herm Springer prong collar that's perfectly fitted, and it's in the correct position on his neck, which is high up under the jawline. And we're going to be doing these drills. And I'm pretty sure Augie, as soon as we put the tool on him, he's behaving extremely well because this tool inhibits pulling all in its own action. But when he starts to drift out, we're going to give little pops, and you're going to see he comes in close. And when he comes in close, we're going to give positive reinforcement, okay? So here we go. We're going to take off now. So we're taking off and the loose, the leash is loose. He's coming into the right spot and doing the right things. But let's say he wasn't and he started to drift off like this. No. Good. Yes. And then you're going to reward that behavior. He starts to drift off again. No. And then we're going to reward the correct behavior. So what guys, what we're doing is we are correcting undesired behavior, rewarding desired behavior. And it may feel like your dog is training you. And if you have a Belgian Malinois or a German Shepherd, the truth is, it's probably training you. The one thing I teach all my students is to never become emotional during dog training and always make sure that it's a positive experience. So if you guys want to have the best walking buddy and best companion that you've ever owned in your entire life, I encourage you guys to click the link for the risk-free consultation. Here at Bell & Canine, we treat every single dog as if it's our own dog with love and care. And our five-star facility is going to be the best place in anywhere in Texas that you could choose to send your dogs to. So I look forward to meeting you in our private evaluation.